Yes, I had to get my brand new JUC repaired. Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I have a story time video about my brand new Conte JUC and my repair experience. So to my eagle eye <laughs> subscribers and friends, you have noticed that in my past few videos, especially this month in December, I have not been wearing my JUC. And how ironic because I just did a first impressions video with pros and cons about this JUC and I said in that video I never take it off so I must have jinxed myself because right after that video I had to get it repaired so this video is a story time and it's also an advice um, video for people who may have the same version as me or have similar troubles so hopefully this video can give you a bit of help and advice to what you can do about it because you can do something about the JUC. I'm going to keep this video concise but please bear with me as I talk through what happened since my last video but we have a happy ending because I have my bracelet back as well as a very quick unboxing at the end. So let's begin. If you didn't watch my first impressions video or my pros and cons video, I'll link it up here in the description section below. But in that video, I mentioned one of the cons of my bracelet is that it has a very loose hinge. And honestly, I thought it was normal that I thought the bracelet was, the bracelet was made that way. However, I watched Gina's video uh, after I got this and she has the rose gold diamond version. So in her video, which I'll also link down below, she mentioned that her version is made in Italy and therefore my version is probably made in Switzerland because Switzerland apparently has the version that's a little bit more loose. Now, I never thought it was an issue, but I did mention in my update video that it has come undone or unhinged when I was doing my gym classes. Maybe I was punching a little bit too violently and the bracelet has sort of slipped under the wristband and flown off my arm. But I always thought it was my fault because of the activities that I was doing, but it's never fallen off while I was walking, you know, just casually. Until on the 2nd of December, I was actually working from home and I was sitting at my work desk. I was just clicking the laptop uh, mouse and then I raised my hand to move from the mouse to the keyboard. And when I lifted my hand, I noticed that my bracelet was hanging on to dear life from my hand. It was dangling there. And for the life of me, I could not imagine what I did because all I was doing was sitting down on a very intense work day just doing my work at my desk. I wasn't doing any gym and somehow it unhinged and I sort of freaked out a little bit because I was go what was going through my head was what if I was walking? What if I was at the station, train station and was just swinging my hands and that happened and it fell down the train. Like I had all these thoughts of oh my gosh what if? kind of like a blessing in disguise that I was actually at home. So I immediately texted Clara, who kindly sent to me a video of her Cartier. And I will put a clip of both our videos and you can see the difference. She is vigorously shaking her Cartier bracelet and it is stiff at the hinge. Whereas mine just drops like a, a twig. And the difference is so significant that I, th I started to think that maybe mine is faulty or made differently or something is wrong with mine and it cannot be unhinging for no reason. So I obviously panicked and texted my essay with all kinds of texts I sent in the videos and these are the moments that I am actually extremely like beyond grateful that I have such an amazing Cartier essay in Singapore. He immediately told me, don't worry, I will handle everything, just bring it to the store. So I was like, oh my gosh, telling him, you know, I don't want a refund. Like, if they can't fix it, will Cartier exchange one for me? Like, I, I, what can I do? Because I was so afraid that they could not fix it. Okay, so that was me panicking. <laughs> then I, I think over that weekend, I went over there and I passed it to him. I was like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? You know, me being very, like, dramatic. And he was like, calm down, calm down, don't worry, chill out, chill out. And he said, you know, we'll take it back. The jewelers will inspect, you know, if they can't repair it locally in Singapore, they will have to send it back to France for um, different kind of repair. So he, I think he texted me a few days later and he said that the jewelers in Singapore 
could do it, like their own repair people could do it. And they did notice that the clasp on the top was loose and there was something wrong with the hinge. So he told me to wait three weeks and exactly three weeks yesterday, texted me and said, your bracelet is back, come and get it. So I'm gonna insert a clip right now that you can see my brand new old bracelet. It is like a totally different bracelet right now. The clip is tighter. He told me they had lower the opening and closing mechanism so that now it hinges deeper into the screw head and the hinge has been repaired that now it is so much tighter. I actually have to use a bit of strength, very light strength, but I have to open it and then when I have to close it, I have to press it in. There is a lot of energy okay maybe not there is some pressure that i have to use to open and close it right now compared to previously where i can just hold it and it will just drop like a limp hand so right now i am very very happy with the repair it didn't cost me anything and the repair is so good that i cannot see what they did i asked my essay what did they do so he only knows that they lowered the hinge here so that now it clips deeper inside the screw head like i said earlier but they also fixed the hinge some kind of adjustment inside that you you can't see it right from this i can't see it but uh, they did that and now it's very very tight so if any of you have the same version as me where it has the loose hinge Fret not, go to your Cartier boutique, go to your SA and tell them to get it fixed because they can do it. Like, they did it for me and I am extremely, extremely happy with this piece. My SA, uh, his name is KK or Kui Kim, if you're looking for one in Ion Orchard, he said I should start wearing it. If anything happens to it again, you know, it gets looser again or whatever, come back to him, they will fix it for me. So. It's better to go as soon as you have your bracelet or if you are at the store, maybe ask them if they have a different version before you buy it. Because I do think the loose version is a little bit of a risk, but I experienced it myself because if it unhinges on your wrist and it's loose, it will drop immediately because there's nothing to stop it from opening smaller, like it will open all the way. Now that it is tight like this, even if it unhinges here, you can't unless you swing your hand really hard to open the uh, whole bracelet. That's my little story time and my update to my Cartier JUC. I did not sell it. It was sent back to repair and I think for me what was lucky is that it is very new. I only got it in September and it was from day one already with a loose hinge, which I personally didn't know that it was actually an issue. So wearing it every single day and actually telling my essay, oh, I, it's dropped off once while I was doing boxing. And he's like, oh, it shouldn't happen. So I guess that kind of communication also helped me um, make it easier for him to say, okay, this is not my fault. This is something actually faulty with the bracelet that I didn't cause it to be so loose. So I did mention it early, early on already and then the last straw was when I was actually at my computer doing nothing and it was just dangling for dear life on my wrist. Yesterday when I was there, my essay also gave me this and oh my gosh, so so generous, okay? Because I don't know, I, I didn't buy anything and actually I was a problematic customer but maybe like, <laughs> it is so heavy. I can tell you what it is. It is four more candles. And so I'm going to open it right now. Called the boogie or bougie candles. <laughs> Look at these candles. They are so pretty. So the other one that I got was the one with the panther on it, which is super beautiful. And now I have the one with the uh, original Cartier pattern. The one that's like this, um, I would say like a rope design. So another happy ending to my little dramatic <laughs> Cartier experience. You know, gotta have a little bit of drama in your life, right? So I hope this video is helpful to anyone who is considering the Cartier JUC, especially the original one, or have the same version as me. There is help out there. Cartier can definitely fix it for you. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to, and hit that notification bell as well. Everybody, please take care, stay safe, happy holidays, and yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.